Sir, the new fighters are almost ready. There is just one minor flaw. What is it? Well, the ships can't turn and fire at the same time. Bah, like that's important. Those flyboys don't need that. In my day, we used to get out and have to push and then fire with our sidearms. You did install brakes though, right? Yes, sir. We have reverse thrusters. No, not reverse thrusters. Brakes. Sir, that's against the laws of physics, sir. Well, get it done anyway. Extra, extra. Read all about it. War declared. Hello, I'm the eternal newbie. The extra L is for look. As in today, we're going to look back at another great old game. Wing Commander 1. Now, this game is great. Don't get me wrong. It was one of my favorites back in the day, and I still love it. Going back and playing it again, though, I did notice one kind of fatal flaw, which we'll get to. But first, let's enjoy this. In 1990, and it was revolutionary. It launched a genre. It may not look like much today, but believe me, these graphics were state-of-the-art back in the day. Let's take a look, shall we? It starts you off in a flight simulator, and it blows you up right away. Interesting, eh? But what this really is just a clever way to get you to put in your name without breaking immersion that you're actually in the game. So let me go ahead and put in my name. You know, when you think about it, this game really is very impressive, considering how it came out. Take a look. Now, if you had bought this game back in 1990, this is what you would have seen. You would have gotten schematics of some of the ships, the disc, and you might notice right there in the middle it says claw marks. That was a little magazine type thing, insert, that came out. It was basically like the newspaper from the ship you were on, written from that perspective. Now, I know I sound like grandpa right now, but nowadays with all the digital downloads, you miss out on the really cool stuff like that. It was awesome. When you're not flying and killing Kel Rathi, you're going to be sitting here in the lounge. You can talk to people. You can look at the leaderboard. You can even use the flight simulator and practice killing Kel Rathi. It's pretty cool. When you talk to them, they will give you advice on how to fly, tell you how to do things better. Like she right there just told me that... Yeah, how many missiles or shots it takes to take down a Kilrathi. If you talk to Shot Glass, he'll give you advice on the other pilots, stuff like that. It's pretty cool, but let's get to the good stuff. So we go to the next room, and this is the pilot sleeping quarters. Here's where you save the game. You don't really do much here. You can save your game, do a couple of other things. It always confused me that there was water dripping from the ceiling into a bucket here. I mean, not to mention the hoses coming out of the ceiling, the lights flickering. I mean, this is a spaceship. Why is there water coming from the ceiling? The ship doesn't look damaged on the outside. Why are there hoses coming out of the ceiling? Did they not, like, fix the interior? Did they not finish building the ship? I have no idea. I also always liked the idea that the airlock was the exit to DOS. They're like, oh, you don't want to play anymore? Throw yourself out into space then. One last thing you can do is look at your medals. Now, I don't have very much here. I got my rank, I got my little pilot wings that has a heart in the middle because I guess somebody loves me. As you play more, you'll get more medals, you'll rank up, and this will show up right here. But you know what? Enough of this. Let's go to the briefing so we can go fly. This is where they tell you about what you're going to do on your next mission. Our first mission is a routine patrol. The other kind of missions include like an escort mission and my personal favorite, go attack and destroy a target. So this guy tells us about it. Let's get past some of this. Pretty intense, eh? So... Now we get to what I consider this game's biggest flaw. Now, I don't remember if it was like this back in the day. I think it was. But maybe it's just a DOS box flaw. The thing is, when I try and turn and fire at the same time, it doesn't work. Might have dropped the ball on this one there, guys. Sir, we have got to fix these ships. People are dying. What? Stop being a namby-pamby. Go out there and win. 
Sir, the ships can't fire and turn at the same time. It is a major design flaw. So what? In my day, we couldn't move and fire at the same time. Never stopped us from winning. Why, I remember this time I was fighting in a bar. I think it was Harry's Good Time Bar. I had just finished eating six, no, no, seven chicken wings when a leatherhead came up to me and said something disparaging about my mother. I pulled out my appointment book and challenged him to a dance-off. He accepted, but the last ferry was about to leave back to base, so we had to make an appointment. Neither of us wanting to miss the ferry and having to get a space taxi, which is what we called regular taxis back in those days. Now, the ferry cost six pence, which is what we called dollars back then. Unless you were early in those days, you'd get it for five and a half pence. On Sundays, five. So you're probably thinking, well, newbie, why not just use a mouse? Well, I dare you to fall into that trap. Look what happens when I use the mouse. This ship goes crazy. It's like the ship's on drugs or something. It's going fast. It doesn't know what it's doing. It's just wacky all over the place. But at least I can turn and fire at the same time. The cool thing about this game, though, is you can go to your nav points in any order. Now, I could go from 1 to 2 to 3 and go through those asteroids. Or... I could totally skip one of those asteroid fields, just barely go on the other one, and go to nav point three first. As long as you hit all of them, you're good to go. Let's do that. Let's go to nav point three first. Gotta remind me which game I'm playing. So we're here, and look, there are some enemies. Spirit sees them. You have to make sure you tell your wingman, uh-oh, there's some asteroids. Didn't think I'd have to run into them. Those things are death. I'll talk about them later. As I was saying, you got to make sure to tell your wingman to attack. Otherwise, they're just going to stay on your wing the entire time while you do everything. I'm going to go ahead and speed up through this just to let you kind of see what it's like. It takes a while because, like I said, either turning way too fast and have no control or you can't turn and fire at the same time. You can still win. It just takes a little while. So, now let's talk about the old asteroids. My bane in this game. Because one good asteroid hit will kill you. You may notice I'm going kind of slow. You want to get through this thing as fast as you can. But if you go fast, they can come out of nowhere and just destroy you. Barely killed that one in time. It's kind of like the game of asteroids. I think that one just turned into two ones. Uh-oh. Ooh, good. Boy, did that one. That one was close. So... Yeah, I mean, as long as you're not going too fast, they're not too dangerous, and it's not really that hard to... Whoa, okay. I guess I spoke too soon. So looking at my heads-up display, you can see on my weapons display that I lost one of my guns and one of my missiles. But hey, at least I reached the objective. I'm going to go ahead and back out so I don't have to fly all the way through this, considering I'd probably die. So I made it out, and now I'm going to the last nav point. There are a couple kill Rathy here. I'm going to end this video right now, then I'm going to give it the same, like, clown rodeo treatments I did with the last battle, in case you want to watch that. I will just tell you, Wing Commander 1 is an excellent game. It holds up relatively well, except for, like, the few strange control issues. I would highly recommend it to everybody. It's where the whole genre started. And while this genre is not very big right now, it was one of my favorite of all time. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
And I'm done talking. If you want to watch my final space battle with one gun and fast forward, you can keep watching. Otherwise, have yourself a great day.